I feel like I'm gonna be an outlier, either like incredibly quick or like 10 minutes. So you can see like if you go normal, it's like, damn, that's, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah I'm really easy. But right, I'm blindfolded. Yeah. Okay. So how much can you see, Michael? Zero, absolutely zero, dark <laughs> as night. All right, so hold on, let's, let me mix them all up. All right, in three, two, one. Oh, 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 did you guys take them out? No. <laughs> well, <laughs> I should be on the surface. <laughs> yeah, I won't, but then he I laughed. Like you're drowning. <laughs> yeah. We got, yeah. we got one. You got five more. Oh, are you fucking? Are no. you serious? Yeah. What's up, man? You have anything to say for yourself? Like, what's going on? It feels weird talking with this mask to the thing. I feel like you can't see me, but I want to be safe. Um, happy to be back, man. Look at this. Uh, it looks like a gigantic ancient mound of stuff. I feel like there could be the lost city of Atlantis under here. Somehow it grew while I was gone, but I guess I was long gone for a long time, so. Feels like nothing's changed though in general. It's extremely good to be back and I'm just happy to be here, man. Are you gonna be here for a while or what? At least a week right now, so just trying to figure that all out. I gotta talk to Dave and Erica and figure everything out. So, um, man, it's, um, this mask keeps slipping down. Kind of makes me look like an idiot when I'm talking with my nose out, but, um, man, it feels extremely, extremely relieving and good to be back here and I'm just like grateful very happy i love seeing everyone except for tommy he's just so worried about winning this survivor thing i hope that he loses to be honest but um other than that it's great to see everyone it feels like life is normal again so i'm really grateful for it um, like am i allowed to give you a hug i don't know no, I, i'm mine's at 10 15 so i'm about to go right now then but once then you I get will, it then i i'm gonna give you crazy hugs don't oh, worry. Okay, good. so many hugs don't worry. so many hugs i mean i feel like i haven't gotten a hug in literally a year i need to I think he's gonna need some extra love, you know? Probably gonna take some, some beatings this week, I'd say. How you doing, buddy? Sorry. I'm gonna give you a problem one. There it is. <laughs> I'm listening, bro. What's going on? It's good to see your face, John Henry. Is it? It's really good, yeah. It, it is. is. You can tell a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What's up, bud? How, How are, are you, Kevin? My eyes. I can't believe him. I know, you gotta go to the optometrist. <laughs> I heard somebody say that word yesterday. I didn't just know that off the top of my head. You didn't know optometrist. I just heard somebody say it yesterday. Welcome back. Uh, How are you, bro? Good, good. How are you? It's good to see you. What's up, man? You know what, Trump? I haven't talked to you in eight months. Here's what happened. <laughs> I had to, um, I had to enforce an embargo way yeah. back from last 2020, April. Yeah. This embargo goes almost the length of COVID. Yeah. And you weren't texting me back, I think it was 15 times. Even some, you know, stuff. And here's what happened. This is what happens in real friends. I didn't want to do it, but I had to for my own dignity. 
And you know what? I missed this motherfucker. Yeah, I like I you. knew. I we didn't talk. Oh, for I missed you back. Yeah, no, I know. We didn't talk for eight months because I didn't text you back, which is fair. But I knew the, the divide was only going to get bigger since we didn't see each other. But it was never. And then when I saw you, it was never real Trent Ryan beef. It was Trent Ryan texting beef. I yeah. love this human, but I just I had to stand for something. So you know what, Trent? I'm really happy to see you today, and I'd be happy to talk about all the things we've missed over our time. Welcome back. Sad. It's so great to see you, bro. Good for to real. see you. You were like the first person when I was looking around today, and I was scoping your kind of fine ass from across the room, and I yeah. was like, damn, I hope that um, Trent sees me. It was like your like, ex at a bar or something, where like, I didn't want to go up to you, so I was kind of waiting for you to come yeah. over. I get it. I was kind of just trying to let it No, happen. when I saw that you were going to be here today, I was like, well, I should, I'm going to go in, and we're going to see each other. It's, it's a great day. And um, I hope that we can end the embargo, and we can kind of have a respectful texting relationship. But I mean... I would like that. I hope that my... Um, months away from texting and my steadfast commitment will show you that I don't oh, want to be... So I did. I did. No, but it was both. I never had a real life beef with Trent. I knew it was going to be fine. I knew it. I never had a problem. And even when you texted me, I was so close to cracking. Hey, I was texting you about Takashi 6 9 that was Oh my God. That was Here's a wild thing. time. Back when me and Trent sat face to face of each other, we would talk about Takashi. I mean, we were living it in real life. Yeah. Other than the part where we were living it in real life, we were like virtually living yeah. everything he did. And this guy goes to trial. It was like this crazy thing. He gets out. He got out. Yeah. The streets were hot. And we didn't even text about it. And no. that's one of those things I just want to say to anybody out there that has beef with their friends or, you know, family or something. End the beef because that was times we'll never get back. True. I miss you, Trip. That's true. It's good to I'm see you. I'm serious, bro. Yeah, it's good to see you. I'm just trying to be a happy human and, and do good work and have a happy life. And I'm just trying to make progress. That's my honest thoughts. I don't say read negative stuff because I have enough negative stuff going on. I don't need to just be told that I'm worthless a thousand times. I don't know, man. I've never been in this situation in my whole fucking life. That's the real truth. You want to hear some real stool scenes? Because I do love stool scenes. People forget that I did it for two years. And I'm fucking proud of all those episodes, hundreds of them. The real still scenes truth is, I don't fucking know, man. I've never been in a position where you, you know, grow something from your brain in your parents' basement and bring it, hey, I want to do bar saw doors, all this stuff, and work on it for four years and have, you know, three sponsored seasons supposed to be coming up and you think you're doing good and all these things, and then all of a sudden the sky's falling and everything's bad. It's not really a situation I've encountered before in my life. It's extremely um, taxing. I've lost like a lot of weight. I don't sleep. And that's the truth. I, I cannot wait for it to be resolved and for this not to be my reality anymore. It's sad when your own life is like a kind of like place that you feel trapped in. Like it's a weird fucking feeling. Every day I wake up, I'm in the same vortex. And it sucks. That's the honest truth. Everyone that says mean things or some sort of thing, I wish that that wasn't happening. That's the truth. I'm being completely honest. I'm just going to keep doing my good work and um, hope that things change and that things are better. That's as honest as I can be for you. You know what I mean? Got you. So, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a ton of good answers. That's the thing. Everyone keeps asking me. I don't have answers. If I had answers, this wouldn't be happening. So, just keep working. Keep doing my thing. I'm going to go get a cup of coffee right now. And oh, hopefully yeah. it's fun. We'll see. I hope it tastes good. Yeah, YP is in an interesting spot because he's caught in that middle of like no matter what he does, there's people going to be pissed at him. It's like moving the goalpost. So he wasn't here for a very long time. First of all, it was quarantined, but then he was out shooting Barstool Outdoors. People were pissed about that. But then once Dave got in the mix, he was going to be screwed either way. And Dave had good reason to be mad at him. But then YP came back with good reasoning. But the internet is just going to echo chamber. And now that he's here, it's like, oh, well, it's too little too late. Well, it's like, well, What's he supposed to do? Like, he's showing up. Dave's not here, though. See, this is the thing. If Dave was here this week, I think it would be entirely different. It just so happens that YP shows up the week that Dave is in Detroit. Dan is in Detroit. All the big players that were going after him are in Detroit. Not that Dan ever was, but taking his licks hasn't necessarily happened yet. So that's kind of what I'm waiting for. This is no shade at YP whatsoever because I love Ben. 
but I would have been back in this office much earlier. The first time that Dave started talking shit about me, I would have gotten on that first flight, but I also don't know what he's dealing with behind the scenes and everybody has their own shit, so I, my advice now would it be just to, to admit that maybe you fucked up um, and just take your licks. I would definitely not argue because arguing with Dave Portnoy in general as someone who does it all the time uh, is not a fun task, especially when you are more in the wrong than he is. And I think in, in this specific instance, Dave thinks he's 100% right. So I would just sit back and take the licks and take the jokes and just keep it moving. What could YP be doing better? Um, he could be working. He could be posting on social media, which he's been doing. He's up to all that. He's been blogging. Uh, his nuts have been snipped by Dave. But I think if he just puts his head down and grinds, he'll be fine. He's not going to get fired. I mean, he's just got to work. That's all. This is what I would do if I were him. The like nature videos are, you don't need to have some KB style brain to write a nature video blog. The headline will usually take over and there you go. You write seven, eight, ten sentences. It doesn't need to be funny, but people are going to click on that. Like giant anaconda swallows, uh, you know, a monkey hole or whatever it is. Like those, do that three times a day. And when he's not filming, and he's here obviously now, but when he's not filming, be in, in the office as much as possible because there's going to be other people's content verticals that you can just hop in on a lot of times. Like yesterday I did lowering the bar, bar for the first time and had to drink that, that dog beer or whatever it was. So that's my recommendation. How does it work? So you slide it out. I don't want to break it. Oh, don't worry. We're past the point of that being a problem. For two, 150 bucks. Oh, no, for two, 150 bucks. Yes, yes, totally. So... Yeah, so you can put snacks in okay. there, I guess. Uh, my, I, I, I'll bring a sandwich in now and then. I guess it'll fit in one of those. <laughs> this won't fit in my backpack. This is this is the weight that it should be right here. I also stopped bringing my backpack home. Yeah. I don't bring anything home anymore, so I actually don't have a bag to bring this in. Um, the utensils are great. You can see you can see where the hundred and fifty dollars went. The wood and the utensils. <laughs> The utensils must be 60 bucks. <laughs> Drop. The utensils are just... Okay. Utensils. Wait, there's no food? These are these are <laughs> mediocre utensils. Wait, there's, right. no, there's no food in here? Well, why, why would there be food? Jeff thought that they were taking a year and a half I to send them a lunch. I thought you were getting, like, food. <laughs> no, 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 it's just that, a lunch. That's a crazy, that's a crazy <laughs> expectation. And how long did this take? This is, uh, f this, this is three years and... <laughs> three years, ten months, nine months. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything, and I could have made this in the, 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 six the, hours. The comment, I went on Amazon, and I can get you one <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> it will, it will I, tomorrow. This was my favorite tweet of all time about this thing. A guy named Paulo said, so basically another five to, this was back in 2019. Basically another five to six months waiting. This has been the longest mold process in the industry since the first industrial revolution. <laughs> 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 for, for you, for this is heavy. I'm shit. actually, you know, what I'm bummed, mostly bummed about is that it sucked, but it wasn't broken. I wish it would have been broken. Like yeah, it just, no. that would have been awesome. Like I'd have been like, you know what? Bravo! You sent me a broken lunchbox. Like that'd have been great. You know what the problem is? It's this shell. Yeah, the shell. This, this like <laughs> internal shell here. <laughs> so, what, so what was like the? What made you think I must have this lunchbox? Instagram it. It's, this is the Apple product of lunchboxes. This, this, this was this was the Apple. Of what, it was the most oh, convincing the Instagram ad I've ever seen. How many times did Jeff bring his lunch to work? He gets Chipotle every day. When you put when you put stuff in here, it's going to be so heavy. <laughs> you're going to be exhausted by the time you get to work. So you're just like a slut for Apple. Like you're just like like I can say. And the funny like, thing is. I, I got rid of all my Apple stuff. So by the t now I'm all wow. PC and just an iPhone. So like now like I saw the light and I'm like, well, I'm not in it. Imagine loading that up with like six rice and some like heavy so shit. So I think the second one I'm just gonna have it over in the, the office autograph yeah, and I'll put it up for the bar still fun. Uh, <laughs> an autographed crappy bento box that I bought four years ago. I, I think if someone said this this is the Apple of whatever, I'd know it was bullshit. I'd be like, that's just... It was they the, it was the single most it convincing Instagram ad I've ever seen. I actually think it might have been the first Instagram ad. It was yeah, like four, four years, years ago. ago. I'd say on the balls scale, 1.5 balls. Oof, oof. That's high. <laughs> <laughs> the, the wood, though, the wood is quality. What if you just got a lunchbox and it shipped within a week? You put your finger that's through it. it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. It's a drywall. That's true. I don't actually, yeah, that would have very much wood. The story is worth it alone, idea. for sure. It's like, be like, dude, I got this coat. Just pull it here. I mean... 
Casey would use this. No, this is too heavy. This is stupid. I already tried to pawn it off, didn't work. Oh, for one. <laughs> oh, for one. Casey, I'll give it to you for <laughs> low, low price of 70 this? bucks. For two, 170, 150 bucks. <laughs> Kickstarter, Bro, okay, for Kickstarter, you do pay a bit of a, an extra yeah, premium. Yeah. But even then, like that's what I'm saying. The extra money that this guy got because of Kickstarter. This is not how you. Yeah, but you know what? The mice in this office ain't chewing through that wood. I'll tell you that. Right now. <laughs> this episode of Stool Scenes is brought to you by High Noon. Listen, Surviving Bar Stool has been an absolute shit show. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna grab one of these. All the flavors are the best. Peach by far, though. And then you're gonna want to sit back and and enjoy it. And also, this guy, YP back in the office. I'm sure he's been enjoying a lot of High Noon, you know, they kind of got in the mud and the heat. Anyways, High Noon, real vodka, real juice for real fans. Surviving Barstool is going to be just like watching a football game, and that's the way you do it, because real fans drink High Noon. All right, we're here in the New Amsterdam lounge of Surviving Barstool. This is the lounge where the winning contestants from each challenge uh, get to stay and enjoy bedding and a couch while the rest of their contestants, the rest of their competition sleeps out amongst the office because this is Surviving Barstool, our first ever reality TV show contest here at Barstool. It's eight bloggers, seven days, one prize, $10,000. So each day there's a challenge, either mental, physical, emotional, endurance, uh, shock value, whatever. Uh, one person wins safety each night from the vote and the luxury of the New Amsterdam Lounge. The rest of the contestants have to strategize, plan alliances, backstab, trick, lie, steal, deceive to vote off one of their uh, one of their competitors. And at the end of the week, at the end of the seven days of not leaving the office, 24/7, locked in here competing, they walk home with ten thousand dollars cash. Getting real. How are you feeling? I'm not too nervous. Do you mind if I take it? How do you feel? I'm a little nervous. Suddenly, I didn't see these tiki torches until just now. I feel like fate or something. Wow. Unfortunately, it's so cool. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. So one challenge was uh, let's let's say shock value esque, um, which we've seen here before. Another franchise at Barstool involving eating gross things and uh, you know the gross out factor. And we I think we took it maybe a little too far. The championship round was a food from Sweden, I believe, that quite literally knocked out the whole office. I mean. A smell that I have never experienced in my life. A smell that like took over all of my senses. Just like, catching a whiff of it, I was ready to puke. Take so, one, take to two. Make sure they all have their Mark. books before they come up. Sir Stroming Fish. It's canned fish from <laughs> the depths of hell. <laughs> Yo, these guys play, man. The whole fucking thing we eat. No, exactly. This is, this is a lowering the bar, this is new. Nobody has had this yet. I asked Vibs, have we done this yet? And he said, no, this will kill you. Whoever wins will be uh, safe from tonight's vote. You also will get to go out into the fresh air, go out to lunch, maybe have a beverage. Oh, I got my tail! That might actually be good. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. They, I mean, this sounds, this sounds oh, like... Oh, Jesus Let me catch up with this. Let me catch up with this. This is... I'm right up on this. Uh -huh. <laughs> you are not supposed to eat it straight. You are supposed to... Oh, my salt God. Salt hey, P.I. Galloway, can you, like, say fuck you? Oh, no. Yeah. I can't even eat this. <laughs> permeated through the third floor and then down to the second floor. It was almost like in cartoons when you can see the smell, like the smoke is going through and it like goes up your nostril and you watched it go through the office like a wave of death. People were like, it's coming, it's coming, get down. It was disgusting. Oh my God, it's so bad. What does it's it smell so like? It's so bad, it smells like a fish tank from like 400 years ago. A combo of rotten fish and cat piss is what it I'm smells doing. like fish to me. It smells better upstairs, which is kind of interesting. Oh my God. <laughs> you can breathe it in, like you could feel it go through your lungs. It's really, really. It's, I feel like we're gonna get suffocated by the smell and just die. Ed, how are you doing? Dude, it is disgusting. 
whoever said cat piss, that's spot on. I had a cat. I've had better moments in the office. We'll put it that way. But at least I guess the I guess the masks are coming in handy. I've got to be a good. 40 yards away, I'm wearing a mask, and it is just... It's, it's awful. It's just lipping in my nostrils. No, it's no good. Dude, this is crazy. This is supposed to be the worst mask. I've never seen somebody wear a mask. I mean, look, while we're in the bar, it's pretty fucked up, but this is something else. I mean... This is Vince's shit, isn't it? Yeah, they're doing it for the survival. God damn, this is fucking... Fruit? It's a fish. No, it's a fish. It's just like... There's so much cat piss in the air right now. I just ah, no, 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 no. I can't pee. I can't pee. I just tried to walk through the kitchen so and uh, I almost puked. How am I supposed to go take a fucking piss? Can I hold my breath while I take a piss? If I'm fucking, if you find me passed out in the bathroom, I was trying to pee. Oh, God, I had to get some fresh air. This is literally the most painful. <laughs> you have to eat it. They have to eat this? Yeah. The fish? They have to eat the fish. Bree hates fish so much that she may quit Barstool as a whole after having to eat that fish that, that smells like this. Tragic. Tragic. Tyler? No. Uh, this place is a fucking prison. Absolutely not. No comment, Tyler? It's horrible. You're horrible. It's repulsive. You're Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally Four or five times. I, I knew that. I down here probably up. as you were throwing up, saying Brianna's gonna quit yeah. the first <laughs> It just, it just like it, it seeped into radio and it got stuck in radio. So if you have radio in the next two hours, I'm very sorry. I mean, that's the worst thing I've ever done. It's the worst thing I've ever smelled by far. Are you an easy puker? Because you seemed like really troubled. <laughs> Even just hearing other people gag is is hard and everyone was throwing up and the smell was making KFC throw up. I mean, that smell, I mean, you guys can smell it. Everyone can smell it. Everyone I would suggest to leave. Just leave, if you can. The radio okay. studio is the most disgusting thing I've ever smelled. It's sealed shut and the smell is still in there. It's fucking foul. If you've ever left your uh, bait cooler out and, and had it thaw out yeah. and had some fish carcasses sit there for a few days, this is nothing, you know what I mean? That's par for the club. Oh. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a shower in this. I like that. <laughs> it's on the mask. It's. Let's do a little. That's good. It's Thank everywhere. You. A little freshen up. I'm telling you right now, Surviving Barstool is the single best video product I think we've ever put out at Barstool. For, for nostalgia purposes and, and fandom purposes, you know, people love Dan, people love Dave, people love the OG bar stool. Some of those old videos where it was just like filming with a phone or, you know, a shitty cameraman and a crappy edit. As far as like a full scale production, we got real, we got, we're doing like branded content here with a real camera team, a full edit, several episodes, live reactions, full reality TV show type of production, I think this is the best product we've ever put out. You get people in a room together like this, let them start drinking, let them start talking, let them start playing, it gets wild real fast. We're getting ready to do today's soda review. What are we doing? What soda? Uh, it's so another one from the Waynesville Soda Jerks. And who's your cameraman today? Uh, well, uh, it's the backup, Vibs. Just the backup. <laughs> hey, second string, nothing wrong. With second that. string, there's nothing wrong right now. Yes. All right. When Ron's not here, I gotta lead us to victory. And I'm gonna do everything it takes. All righty. Hang on, let me, let me clear this area first, Frank. I don't want to trip over this. 
sweet. Sometimes Frank lays out stuff, so I have to like overcome obstacles and get better. All right, it's another Wednesday. Guess what day it is, Mike? Guess what day it is? It's hump day. And today we're going back down to uh, those jerks, those jerks in uh, Western Carolina, Waynesville, uh, North Carolina to be specific. And this is uh, got cranberry ginger soda and its ingredients is carbonated water, keen sugar, organic cranberry juice, grape juice, organic ginger powder, citric gasket, and orange zest. Doom, 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 doom. See, there are a couple of little mistakes in there, like going too close to the soda, then they make me the backup. But overall, I say we got the W, and that's all that matters. Frank, how would you rate Vibs' performance? It was solid today. He didn't get in the way. There were no surprise guests. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, YP, YP did join the, the program yesterday, but he just kind of walked on. That wasn't really my fault. I didn't know I was supposed to keep people off the set. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I had to cut like part of it because it, was, it ran too long. It went into over five minutes. Okay. So you, you don't like the, the guests? The guests are okay, but once it gets to... I should hurry them up. Yes. Yeah, get out of here. And they yeah. have to be invited first. Huh? I mean, yeah. It wasn't too bad to have them on, but it just like, I, like I had to cut like two minutes off of it. It was a seven minute review. Okay, so today was better though. Yeah. Okay. That's all that matters, improving every day. Right? <clears throat> and then tomorrow we're just gonna crush it out of the park. Yep, you gotta find, uh, I gotta think about what I wanna bring tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Great job, Vibs. Thank you. How's it going, man? It's going really well. Really, really well. So, um, I'm not actually going to be in the commercial. I just want to get some makeup put on. <laughs> Came all the way to Hoboken for some makeup. Yeah, I heard it was good. Yeah. I heard, I heard Casey was really good. Or not, your name's not Casey. Your name is... <laughs> Carrie. Carrie. I'm sorry, Carrie. Carrie and I just met. That's awesome. But, uh, I heard she was the best, so... Do you know what your, um, what your role is going to be in this, in this, uh, commercial? I think they wanted me, me to be, like, uh, some loser bachelor and listen i can play that role if you need me to play that role i'll go method with it uh, <laughs> i'm gonna be wearing a robe just rocking out on a hockey stick in my apartment rooting for the caps or rooting for the caps yeah so oh, yeah. i guess i'm a caps fan and also a vodka drinker so again this is this is a real stretch for me this really? is all method acting. I'm going to flex my acting chops big time in this one, so I'm going to really get into the uh, in the character that I'm playing here. I, I should give myself a name, actually. Shoot. My name is... My name is Grady. I'm a Caps fan from uh, Waldorf, Maryland. <laughs> and, uh, and I love drinking vodka neat and watching my Caps win. That's all I do, baby. All right, PFT, I'll see you down there. Yeah, I'm excited. Again, I'm not when I'm on the set. I'm not PFT. I'm Grady. Oh yeah, Grady. I'm Grady. Grady. When, when I see you down there. Grady from Waldorf. All right, Grady. Go Caps. Corey, what's, what's, what's going on over here? We're trying to make a movie. Get the hell off set. God damn it, Aria. We're trying to make a movie. <laughs> it's Grady. Yeah, it's Grady. This is Grady here. I gave myself a name, so okay. I'm getting yeah. into character right now. What's good? Grady, I'm from Waldorf, <laughs> Maryland. I love the Caps. Go Caps, go. You're gonna give love, up. Love Braden Holtby. Sad to see him go. Really excited for Zidane Char. He's really tall. Uh, gonna drink some, let's drink some vodka and watch these Caps. <laughs> can you, oh sorry, Grady, can you give uh, stool scenes a, a, tour, a tour of your house? Yeah, so this is the pad. Uh, you can go in there. It's where the mat, come on in. <laughs> let's check it out. Uh, right there is my coffee table, also my desk, also uh, where my cat sleeps, and then there's my couch, that's where my other cat oh, lives, yeah. and it's also my desk, and it's also my bed, yeah, and that's where the magic happens. Feet, so you live in a studio apartment, Grady? I live in a studio apartment. There's nothing um, wrong with that. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's minimalist, yeah. so um, I like to keep a lot of things from Price Club. I got my Costco cheese balls there. Sometimes I mix it in and out with the pub mix. Right now it's winter time, that's more of a cheese ball season, so we're sticking with the cheese balls. Uh, always have to have plenty of New Amsterdam vodka. I like to drink that neat while I watch the Caps go, Caps go! Go, Caps go! Nobody beats the Wiz either, but we lose a lot, but we, nobody still beats us, but go Wiz. 
Uh, then over there is my bookshelf. I've got um, got Lord of the Rings. Haven't read those, but I got high and watched the movies one time. That was cool. Then I've got my robot. Uh, that was a gift from my dad uh, when he was in jail. It was the most expensive thing they had in commissary. So um, it was probably like six bucks, which in jail, that's like $600. So it means a lot to me. Uh, and then let's see, I've got my, here, let's, let's go check out the, the decor. This is my dartboard. It's where I play darts. That's, uh, that's about it. <laughs> it's a pretty cool place. Your basic bachelor pad, you know, like Look, to get down, like to party. Looks a lot of fun. There's more rooms down the hall. Yeah, we got a few other rooms down the hall. That's where um, I've got like a, a cousin that's staying. He's crashing out. He's not paying rent yet, uh, but that's fine. How much is Family. How much is rent? How much uh, is rent? Typically, it's like three hundred dollars a month, but that varies based on utilities. So. Um, I'm getting illegal cable. I know that like I'm probably the only person left in America that's got the black box that's scrambling his cable still. But I, I tip the uh, cable guy generally like between ten and twenty dollars a month whenever he comes by when I see him down the hallway. But uh, it's kind of a little arrangement that I've worked out. Um, don't have a TV. I just have like this wide open space right here. You see in front of you. That's where my TV. I imagine it to be. Yeah. When I'm watching it's, my this cats. Is, this is Waldorf living. This is Waldorf living. This is, man, I'll tell you what. They call it the uh, the Beverly Hills of Eastern Maryland. Uh, <laughs> and uh, hey, I'm just Tom. lucky to be here. If we were going to lose the food on the you table, it, what, would, what else would we put for uh, setback on the table? Don't step in the light, don't touch the bottle. Don't step in the light, don't touch the bottle. Yeah. Other than that, that's your, that's your playground, and I'm just here to supervise. Hell yeah. Action! I love that. All right, let's cut and get back to one. Action! Focus. All right, PFT or Grady. Grady. Well, Grady, I left Grady on set. True. How did that go? Check your check your characters at the door. Uh, it went well. I think that uh, the only thing tougher than pretending to be a podcaster is pretending to be a guy uh, who's a podcaster pretending to be a guy who's a hockey fan in a vodka commercial. So uh, it was definitely a change of pace for me. It was a good opportunity to stretch my creative legs a little bit, add another arrow to my quiver, as they say in the biz. So now it's, uh, let's see, I'm a uh, professional athlete, podcaster, uh, and really that's just it, now, an actor, an actor. So I have three arrows, three arrows in the quiver, pretty good. They call me Slash. <laughs> Call me Slash. Have a good day, Slash. Later, Slash. Slash, baby. Hello, Rudy. Hello. And then, yeah, we just got to film one before you, so if you want to come out and watch. Uh, yeah. Pretty Sounds cool good. setup. It looks great. Really good setup. Get you guys coffee or anything? Uh, we're good with water right now. All right, you let me know. Thank yeah, you. I appreciate it. It's uh, quite a set, but it's amazing how just like not barstool life this is. Hold on, Rob's coming in here. I love Rob. Oh, hell yeah, the Brellies. Let's go. Fuck yeah. How are what's you? What's up, man? Pretty good. Nice to meet you. I'm Rob. Hey, Rob. Hey, I'm Frankie. Rob. Nice to see you. Rudy, what's up? What up, um, What a set. Cool yeah, no problem. Thanks yeah, for having us. Um, so, we're doing Blackhawks right now. We'll be done uh, probably like 30 minutes, and then we need like an hour to build a pizza That's fine. parlor. Okay. Um, did okay. you bring the photo? Yes. It's in the yes. room. It's huge. Okay, yeah. appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Well, have a ton to offer you other than water and coffee, and yeah. I think there's some snacks here around. They're fine. Um, you can you can hang out here. Um, it's like Rob, we can work together. <laughs> this is like the way he's talking to me is like insane. If I can get you guys any waters, coffees, uh, soda, espresso, it's like, dude, I sit next to you in the office, like we like make pizza reviews and shit. It's crazy. It is crazy. Dude, they were talking to us like we never didn't know what was going on when we first walked in. Yeah. Guys, if we're gonna bring you over to the project manager, Rob, I'm like, you mean Rob? <laughs> yeah. Like, what's happening? This camera's so crazy. <laughs> like, the number, like, this, the price on this thing's gotta be ridiculous. This commercial is gonna play every Wednesday night rivalry game on NBCSN and NBC. It's like you watch an Islander game, Islanders Rangers, I'm gonna be crying for an Islanders loss, I think, which is tough. Like, PFT gets to be excited, I have to cry, which is more my brand with the Islanders, I get it. Yeah. It would be weird to have us celebrate, but everyone else is celebrating, we're not. <laughs> Every single Wednesday is gonna be 
just like a, we're on TV. Yeah, and you're gonna get hit up on Twitter every Wednesday. Frankie. <laughs> And it's gonna get turned into a gif every time the honors lose. Whatever they end up making us do, I know it's gonna be embarrassing. Right. I'm not looking my best this week, and I should have prepared for this. <laughs> you lost a bit of time. You're using some jumping jacks. I don't even know if I have a good undershirt to wear. For Honestly, that though, like your part of the scene is is not to be excited. So We're gonna be upset. You're gonna be anxious. Oh, and then anxious? also upset. Yeah. Okay. So both things that you're good at. <laughs> so like a guy's about to score and then he doesn't? Yeah, or someone's like about to like score on the Islanders. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so it's exactly the one where I got Well, yes, up. that's the word. Scotty, get a stick. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't get to throw the chair on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we'll you do an outtake that. Once. <laughs> Look at this. Decided to go with the makeup. Well, we all know I need a little touch up. Specifically, if you had something that brought out the chin. <laughs> I had a bad photo released of me the other day. Oh, God. Yeah. Your jawline disappeared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How do you conceal a chin? Conceal? What do you mean to bring it out? You would want to, like, sculpt, mm, like a yeah, little contour. Just a little contour in there. <laughs> get that thing out of my face. No, I'm just, I'm, it, it's a fisheye lens. Ready yet. It's a fisheye lens, so I just have to get this close. Get that fucking thing out of my, get that thing out of my fucking face. <laughs> close your eyes for one second. You ever gotten makeup before? No. Do I need makeup usually? So it's a, it's a, it's a soft face. Yeah, there's no, nothing nice. to cover up. You have no definition. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice, soft, buttery, fe featureless face. Or you need more makeup to, like, put in, create the There we go. Now we're talking. So. You're going to have to put some work in on those jaws. There's a jaw there, dude. I see it. <laughs> Look at this set. Really? And Frankie, just a heads up, be careful this thing well, moves back and forth. Okay. We saw it before. Look at this set. Don't touch the bottle. So the other thing is to, I think they talked about it. <laughs> this is awesome. Good job, MB. Look at that. And then if just for whatever reason you think you accidentally knocked the table or the bottle may have moved, just let us know. Yep. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'd like to see it. You know which father? Uh, still just so you know, we're still... You guys are great. Good. Feels like I'm about to watch an Islander game. It's so weird, this is like the same setup we had when we watched the playoffs. I'm a little nervous. But I'm going to make a mockery of myself out here screaming. Grab a stick, Scott. Right, grab cool. a stick. <laughs> what time is it, Frankie? 7.42 p.m. When did you get here? Um, two o'clock. What happened? We're doing this commercial. You can see them messing around with the setup there. Um, and the camera stopped really working. There's like this smart camera. They keep calling it a dinosaur. It, so the whole shot is like everything moves in and it keeps changing team, 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 team. But the bottle stays the same. It's an unbelievable shot. But for some reason it's forgetting like when we sat down ready to go. It's, uh, that was like four hours ago, three hours ago. It forgot like where it was at. So that perfect shot got messed up. So now I feel bad for the guys. They've, it's very finicky. I, I can't imagine what this looks like with me laying down here. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so you've just been waiting this whole time? Yeah. I feel bad for the guys actually working. I've been just sitting here. I mean, they've been sitting up there trying to get this camera to work for three straight hours. I was all over that camera saying this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. We sat down and then it just stopped working. I guess the restaurant thing. See, like the one time we try and do a restaurant thing, it doesn't work. No indoor seating. Unbelievable. <laughs> Truly unbelievable. Let's roll! Here we go, guys! No music. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the music stops? Yeah. Play the Harlem Shake. Are you ready? Oh, that comes. Arnold Shea, workout mix by Power Music. Rolling through! Ready? Amazon music. Rolling. Here we go. Come on, Can't move! Come on, boys. We can do it. We can do it. Here we go, boys. I can 
Yeah. One more play to go. He lost his One stick. more play to go. Johnny lost, lost his skin. Johnny lost his stick. He lost his stick. Oh, no! Yeah, get it clean. Get it clean. Yeah. So stand by. Look like idiots on national television, but I think it's funny. I think it's literally. No, that, it's gonna be. It's that's what so I great. do, though. That's, this yeah. is what I do. Yeah. I scream I during What's games. <laughs> <laughs> My fat face is going to be jiggling on NBCSN coming to a TV near you. <laughs> Did you see that jiggle? No. I mean, like, <laughs> just like neck was coming. I think my neck touched my, my uh, lip at one point. <laughs> I mean, it's worth it though. Any final thoughts? It was great. I mean, it was worth the wait. It's gonna be very funny. Like, that's our brand is watching hockey and screaming. Hockey is on. Whether it's face off or penalty shots, regular season or playoffs, win or lose, no matter what happens, New Amsterdam Vodka is there.